Alright guys, Hayes Inc here. Welcome back to the channel for another Disley adventure. And in this video we are going to today be taking a look at some gameplay. Yes, let's go. Yes, the last time I was on here I was talking about the fact that, you know what, it's been a while. I hadn't played the game in a while. I thought they'd made a lot of stellar improvements. And um, I wanted to start playing again. And I have been, I have been for the last couple of weeks, week and a half I think. I've really been playing daily again actually and um, my luck's been insane to be honest. My luck's been absolutely insane but we'll go over that in a different video. Um, but today I wanted to take a look at the new trial because I was so out of the loop. When I say I was so out of the loop, I mean I was stopped playing month two I never really focused on relics and all the rest of it, and that's stuff that I've been doing now, and um, I've been able to get triple S rank as a, I want to say a newish player, because even though I bought some stuff at the start, free to play players have earned way more than I actually spent at the start, so free to play players who have been playing since the get go have better accounts than me. So. I don't class myself as a whale in this game by any stretch of the imagination. So this is what I was able to achieve, um, just kind of using the mechanics. And I thought I would do a run through to show you guys kind of how you can, I suppose, maybe do better than me with characters that you have no doubt got built up that I don't. So let's go look and see how Hilda is in her trial, and yes, I do have Hilda, and I do have one resonance in her, and no, I did not spend money to get that, and I've got the screenshots to prove it. But, again, that's for another video. I mean, seriously, you will not believe how insane my luck has been in this game. I don't know if it's normal. I actually, I've been sending someone who I talked to pictures of my pools, and he said, you've got the god rolls right now. Um, my luck has just been insane. Insane. So anyway, let's go ahead and look at the kind of teams that I've been using to get this score, right? So we'll look at the top score that I did first of all. You can see the team that I used. Um, I used this, right? Now, I've changed it slightly, um, and I'll explain the change in a minute. But in fact, you know what, I'll do the same team actually, I'll do the same team, because even within that team I've got a slight change, so to do that same team I would need to take out the second healer, which probably means someone's going to die, and it'll probably be her. Um, she usually is the one that would die, um, but that's fine, we can cope with that. So this is the team I'm going to run. Now you'll notice that the speeds here, I've only got the three poison units running fast, right? The other two units are running relatively slow. The reason for that is I want the enemy to take more turns, okay? Because the way that poison works is poison causes damage when they take their turn. So if I'm outpacing them, I'm going to take more turns, they're going to take less damage. So it's in my interest for them to take more turns. However, if I can have my poison units taking more turns, there's going to be more stacks of poison causing more damage when they do get their turns. So that's why this team is structured in such a way that I've got the three units who are dishing out the poison going quite fast and the other two units are going quite slow. Now I'm using this guy, I'm not really good with the names right, Yun Chao, Chan, Young Chan, Yang, 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 I'm using Yang because I've got Hampty Resonance too, which again, insane luck, seriously, insane luck. I didn't even have him a week ago. Because he's got this um, Mark, I Mark thing, my Bob, this thing, blah, 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 where is it? This one. Third Eye Seal, see, I thingy, my Bob. If they're marked with this, his little wolfy dude jumps in and does some damage. However, if you get it to Resonance too, Anyone attacks the units, the little dog jumps in and does some damage. So, cause of that, you see, you see, you see. So let's go. I'm just going to need to talk here, right? So the idea here is to get as many poison stacks as possible, right? So 
we could have got more stacks there. She's extremely good with this Nether Bloom, right? More stacks of poison in there. Now, could you do more? Yes, you could probably use, I think it's Hall. Um, the Archer, Hodor, 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 hold the door, hold the door. Um, he's got poison as well. Um, I was contemplating trying with bleed as well. Um, I believe it would work with bleed, but I don't have enough bleed units built. And um, to be honest, bleed might work better. And the only reason I say that bleed might work better is because you've got that unit, the free to play unit, the, the cat girl. Um, she's got a skill where if units are uh, afflicted with bleed, she will make them take damage from bleed immediately. So if you've built up lots of stacks, she smashes them, pops the bleed, they all die. So this unit should die here. There you go, the unit's died. This unit will take a little bit of additional damage because she's currently exposed. So there you go. Or what, 36 turns in, I've already got her up to A. Um, that's decent, that's decent, we like to see that. I've also put my little... My little um, poison chick at the back, hoping that that will help her take a little bit less damage. Um, I don't actually know if the game works like that though. I don't know if it actually protects you. I know it does when you're doing like Shadow Gale and stuff like that, but I don't know if it works that way here. It's been that long since I played, I'm not sure. That was a good amount of stacks. Right, so I think we're up to A plus now, right? <clears throat> we're, what, 53 turns in. You can see that the damage is really starting to ramp up because we're just constantly getting more and more stacks. And you can see that there we him. So everyone's got that third eye seal just now. So watch. Dog, bang. Bit more damage. Dog, bang. Bit more damage. Good thing is, it doesn't put up a turn count. So it's essentially free damage, right? Essentially, that is what it is. It's free damage. It's not costing me anything. It's really allowing me to ramp up this score without eating up my turn count. That is the important part. So she's exposed now. She's at S. He's done the third eye steal again. Bang. Another one with the dog. Bang. Bit more damage. That's it up to SS. We're only at turn 78. So if I can keep all three of these, all five of these units alive, maybe I'll actually get to S plus, which SS S plus, which would be quite good to actually do it on the video, to be honest. And that's all came about because I'm managing my speed. I'm keeping the units the way that I've said. So we've got my main poison dealers doing more turns than the other two units. I did experiment and try and see if it would work with four units on the team. Couldn't really get it to line up properly, so I didn't go with that. Um, instead, I went with Sally. So she died there, right? That that can happen. Um, if I could keep her alive, I feel like maybe I could push it to get SSS+. Plus, but unfortunately, I can't keep her alive, so I think we'll get to SSS in this video pretty sure we'll get to SSS. I don't think I'll beat the score though. There you go, there's SSS. We're not beating the score. But you can see, <coughs> that's how, <coughs> pardon me, that is how you kind of do it, right? Now, I'm going to do one more run because some people might be like, oh, you're using that guy, you know, you're using him. So let's see what happens if we do happen to use more healers and a bit more speed, right? Now, I don't think this is the best move in the world, personally. I do not think this is the best move in the world. But what I'm going to do is I am going to keep her. And I know this is a really weird set of gear. I don't want her to go fast, though, right? I do not want her to go fast. If she doesn't go fast, then possibly this could work, right? Possibly. So... It should do enough to keep my poison dealers alive. And we'll see if we can get it to SSS plus, right? Now, <clears throat> I did contemplate doing it with Lucas. Um, I did contemplate doing it with Lucas because Lucas obviously improves accuracy. However, Lucas also manipulates AP gauge which means the enemy isn't getting as many turns. And for this strategy to play out the way that we really need it to play out, 
these guys need to be getting their turns because if they don't get their turns those stacks are not doing anything they're just sitting there so they really need to get their turns so that the stacks can take effect and the poison can actually do what it's meant to do and that is hurt the enemy right so you see here i mean we're at a i think on the other team we're at a plus it doesn't really matter though because this team is long game you know um especially if meredith hits at the right point it should if she's unshielded it could do a bit of damage to the boss not only that it's gonna allow our full team of poison dealers to stay alive so maybe at the back half we'll start to see the damage really ramping up but we'll see we'll see i still think the other team's probably better but hmm what are we at turn 65 <clears throat> i think by now i was at i was at s or was it was i was it 72 we're very close we're very close so we're at s now but we've still got the full team alive there's no danger of that team dying that's now going to die she's unshielded <clears throat> unfortunately we didn't get enough opportunity to do some free damage on her there while she was unshielded so let's pop off let's get some more stacks going here nice could probably do a bit more accuracy for a bit higher accuracy we would get more stacks but we're still getting a decent amount of stacks don't get me wrong we definitely are however i do not think this is going to be triple s there's not enough time for it to be triple s Hmm. Is there? Nah, nah. We're not getting triple S here. No way. No way. Big damage here, big damage, big damage. So it was double S. <clears throat> one five oh four four one four on my region. That would have still got me second place. In fact, that would have, if it wasn't for my score in first place, that would have still got me first place. So, <clears throat> it's all about sustaining the team, basically. Managing the speed, at least that's what I've found anyway. Managing the speed and essentially making it so that your poison dealers can essentially keep going. I feel like if you could get away with that, pretty sure it's this dude. Yep. You could probably have him on the team as well. You could probably have him on the team as well, and that would give you even more stacks, and it would do even more damage. The problem I see at that point is sustainability. Would you be able to keep the team alive? Be a bit more difficult, to be honest, but you would get more stacks in, more stacks, more damage. You know, you could potentially beat the score. You have got other poison dealers in here. Um, I don't have them. The thing I was talking about with bleed, I'd love to experiment with it, but see it here, I think it's this one. If the target is affected by bleed, now it hits all enemies, if the target is affected by bleed, they will immediately... Wait, is it there? If the target is affected with bleed, applies bleed damage immediately. Right? Immediately. So that would cause essentially you to be able to do more damage to them quickly which could be vital in a in a turn timed mode but i don't have enough bleed characters to experiment with it so someone out there is watching it does the bleed strat work I, I think that maybe using bleed alongside the poison could totally work it's just what one's going to work better probably poison because i think there's more poison dealers like you could potentially throw this guy on here. You know, he's got poison. It's only a 70% chance though. You can upgrade it to 80%. He's got poison here as well. 50% chance. Upgrades to 70. This one here, 60% chance. So I mean, he's got plenty of chances to put poison on there. But you know, is it worth it with a chance? It could be, it could be, you know. Will he survive? I don't know. I don't know. But poison stacks is the way to go. 
Make sure all your poison dealers go first. Try and keep them alive, and you'll see the numbers absolutely soar. Anyway, guys, I've been Hazing. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. See you later. Catch you.